Easy. Just one hit, Will. Well. Competitive force that grants users unique and, and powerful magic, obtainable only through a powerful mana beast passing on their own and o one and only will, or taken from within their beast core. Oh shit! What would happen if I were to integrate with two beasts? Is it even possible? Okay, hold on, Art. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this for a second, Art. The first beast core you got when you were mad young, you almost died from that shit. You were getting heart attacks on the regular. You are older right now, yes. But don't forget, most people get their beast cores when they are older than you. Their first one. You already have one. You really think you should get another beast core inside your body? Like, I don't, I don't know about all that. Is it even possible? Only one way to fight, and he's gonna try it. I don't know. Uh, okay. Sylvia's blocking. Okay, good, good, good. Wait, what's happening? What the fuck? Wait! Excuse me? That was close. A little late and my dragon will, will, will would have destroyed the other one's guardian beast well. Yo, Sylvia was about to kill it, son. I wonder why father couldn't absorb the beast well then. The beast element and mage's element attribute must be compatible and don't forget it. He forgot. Ah, right. Oh, okay. Fire and... If that's the case, I know exactly who to give this to. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, he's gonna give it to Tess! The next few days flew by, flew by in a daze. While I made sure to continue training always, I always made time to hang out with my family. Spending the days how I normally, how a normal boy would. Beating up my dad's co-workers, you know, the regular deal. Good morning, brother. Mom says to come down and eat breakfast. Mmm, but I want that fancy dimensional ring. What the hell? Mother told all of us to get ready for the announcement today. Dear brother, wake. Oh God, why? Why she gotta elbow them though? Oh no, she going for the nuts, bro. Oh, Ellie, you're too big to be doing this. Are you calling me fat, brother? They're teaching you some weird things at that so-called school for proper ladies. Be sure to get ready and go down for breakfast. Mom and our mom and I are heading out first with Auntie T Tabitha. Ugh, who does she take after to be so violent? I know the answer. I'm still hungry. I'm not surprised at seeing how much food Sylvie still left off your plate. Anyway, I'm going to check out some of the stores nearby. Do you even have money to buy anything? Unlike someone, I've been saving what I, what we earned from the dungeon. <laughs> Lucky. Sylvie, go with Elijah while I visit Gideon. Master Gideon is not- Oh! Greetings, Master Vincent. Please come in. That was crazy. My man was like, he told me to tell everybody that he's not home. It's been a while, Himes. This way. What's that smell? An easier question would be, what isn't that smell? Something's moving over there. Himes! Yo! I thought I told you not to let anyone- Oh, it's you, Vincent. I see you've come to, bro to bother me again. You act like I didn't call you beforehand. I'm just particularly tired of seeing people these days. I've already had over a dozen messengers from the royal families this past year. Yo, what is this problem, son? They've been hounding me to come back to come up with a way to travel a long distance ac across the ocean. Travel across the ocean? Why? None of your damn business. Wait. Who's that? Who's this little booger? An honor to meet you, Mr. Gideon. Uncle Vincent has told me many great things about you and your work. My name is Arthur Lewin, son of Reynolds Lewin. So why'd you bring him here, Vincent? You know I don't take on students or disciples. Actually, I like to know myself why he wanted me to bring bring him here. I came with something in mind to offer. But you said you needed a way to travel a long, long distance across the ocean, correct? Huh? Perhaps it'll be easier for me to show you rather than explain. I don't know what sort of colorful doodles you're drawing, but the problem I'm facing is something a kid that hasn't even grown hair down there can- Huh? Th this is- This? How? This? Of course. An engine not powered by mana, but by steam generated, generated by external materials. Why didn't I think of this? Cause you're not King Grey, bro. Wait, this part doesn't add up. Something's missing. I've left out some key details, which I will be ha more than happy to provide. Once, you're, once our negotiations are over, you're not a normal little booger, are you? Nope, I'm a king. No matter. I'm sure even the things rolling around on the ground here will, will be able to amaze you. Feast your dewy blue eyes on this. That's an ironized diamond. Vincent tells me you're a budding mage. This, one of, this is one of the most valuable gems on, the, on this continent and can store five times the size in mana. Oh, wow. I don't think budding is quite the wor word I'd use. It's nice, but unnecessary for me. Unnecessary, you say? No matter. Himes, bring over all the items on the middle shelf of row C. Damn, son. I haven't shown this to anyone yet, but I'll make an exception for you. Ta-da! This mirror, bo this mirror is capable of deflecting up to five. Not interested. He's like, bro, what? What about this? No, 
You can't say no to this. Nope. Fine, I'm sure about this one. Meh. To be able to hold his own against the infamous Gideon, as expected of Arthur. But take my stuff! <laughs> what the hell is happening in front of me? M master Looks like there's no choice. Himes, bring me the pendants. But master, those are made for... I know, just bring them. What? I had some of the best designers work on the aesthetic so they would be er suitable for the royal family. This is made from a phoenix worm. Damn right it is. Wait, how did you know? What are phoenix worms? They're a race of S-class mana beasts about as rare as dragons themselves. Oh, shit. That are more known for their unique ability to preserve their own lives. I'm guessing you've managed to somehow store that ability into dependent. Right oh, pretty boy. Just like how a phoenix worm is able to protect itself when in, when in danger, a protective spell a, a protective shell will be conjured around the wearer of this of this little artifact. And that's not even the best part. If the cocoon shielding the user shielding the user breaks, the mana stored in the pendant shield will be consumed and it will transport the user to the safest location they know. Damn! Just as a just as a phoenix worm would. How many times can someone use this effect of, use the effect of the of this pendant? Honestly, kid, it's hard to say. I already wasted five Phoenix Worm Beast cores, which are each worth more than any other S-Class core. I hypothesize that they'll be good for these many, this many uses. Damn, only two? I mean, I thought it was gonna be one. This would be something something that Ellie and Mother might. Wait, you said it earlier that these were for the royal family. Yeah, the royal family was the one that donated the cores. But that's not important. What I'm what I'm more curious about is how you came up with such an idea and why you're revealing it here and now. What's your agenda? I just want to get my little sister a good birthday gift. That that's adorable. Liar! Besides, I don't plan on revealing anything without knowing exactly what you'll be using it for. Is that necessary? You'll find out during the announcement later today. I'm certain a distinguished character such as yourself would be more informational than a highly filtered speech meant for the masses. Fine, fine. And if I tell you everything I know, will you not will you not need the pendants? I'm not that nice, Mr. Gideon. Then instead of both, just one? He's like, look, look at my face. Look at my face. I want all of them. Demon. I may not always know what goes on in the extraordinary brain of his, but you can trust Arthur to, to keep his word. Grah, fine, screw the royal family. Getting the ship made is more important anyway. Last year we found evidence suggesting, no, we're absolutely certain that there's another continent beyond Dickethan. What? A new continent? So it really is true. You knew about this, Uncle Vincent? An employee of the royal family let it slip. He wasn't confident in it and made me swear not to tell anyone. But Gideon's confirmation just made it all too real for me as well. How are you so certain that there's another continent? Were you able to gather evidence? Of course we've gathered evidence! What sort of half-wit crack crockpot scientist would you would say, some, would say something like that without evidence? A few years ago, we found an artifact attached to a bird-like mana beast that we've never never seen in Dickethan. I've had the ability to camouflage almost completely against the surroundings. A mana beast capable of camouflage in flight? How in the world did you guys even catch it then? By sheer dumb luck. Something, some two-bit adventure missed a glide and scroll and it accidentally shot the bird down. Oh shit. Anyway, attached to it was an artifact so complex that I was barely able to figure out what it did last year, which confirmed everything. What did the artifact do? You realize that the only other people that, declare, that have clearance for this information are the royal families, right? Then I guess the design on this blueprint are even more important since not even the royal families know this. The artifact was able to record and store moving images. Ah, so even the great Gideon can't go, can't do anything against Arthur. So that it? This little... That really does prove it. I'm not following. How does that prove anything? Isn't it possible that it was made by some unknown artificer in Dickathan? I mentioned before that I'd be introducing you to one of the most accomplished artificers and inventions I knew. But Master Gideon is beyond just accomplished. He's the greatest artificer by far in the history of Dickathan. Oh shit. Okay. Is he really? That hurts. It's true. Bring any artificer on this continent and he'd be bowing so deeply that, he's forehead, that his forehead would be underground. So because even the supposed best artificer in Dickathan would could barely figure out the technology behind the artifact, the royal family's assumption is that the artificer who made it is from somewhere outside of Dickathan? Ahem. <laughs> that as well as the fact that the artifact had detailed moving images of all three kingdoms. I see. I see! That's it? We're talking about the possibility of a continent filled with not just highly advanced artificers, but probably even stronger mages. I understand the implications, Master Gideon, but there's not but there's no use just imagining the possibilities. With this steam engine, we'll just have to see what the new continent holds in store for us. I've never seen that old grouch Gideon so excited before in my life. Is that so? So this steam engine will need some specific materials that should be relatively Yeah, 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 I can take care of that easy. Just finish the rest. Gideon says your idea is an ingen is ingenious. 
but I still can't picture how steam could produce energy powerful enough to move a large ship for such, a, for such long distances. I guess the fact that the people of this world are so reliant on mana was, has really stunted the advancements of non-magical technology. What amazes me even more though is that your parents don't make a bigger deal out of all the things you're capable of. If I were your dad, blah blah blah, well thanks to that I was able to use a relatively harmless technology to get something useful for my family. But to think that there were, that there might be, that there might really be a continent outside of Dickathan. I feel like it's his place. I feel like it's either the Dark Continent or it might be where he's from. This is really just the beginning. Papa, small glasses and I are heading towards the, towards you and big glasses. We see you, big glasses. I can't believe your sister's birthday is next week. Blah blah blah. I can't wait for I can't wait for the announcement today. I heard from the Elder Rades that the three kingdoms have been in talks of unifying. That's really the case. I wonder if the unification has to do with the discovery of the new continent that Gideon mentioned earlier. I know what's going to happen, but I won't spoil. Is something over? The fuck? Oh shit! P please. I didn't do anything! Didn't do anything? It's bad enough that there are dwarves in Zyre's Academy now. But you dare to go against school rules? Protecting yourself with mana? Don't you know that using magic outside of school grounds is forbidden? Withdraw your mana! B but I said withdraw your- That's enough! Are you okay? Can you stand? I don't believe this. How dare you do this to- Yo! I should be asking you the same thing. How dare you interrupt my fun? So these are the guys from Zyre's Academy. This is unacceptable. I'll call some guards before this. No. What do you mean? We can't just let them... If I use magic here, Arthur and Mr. Halstia will also get in big trouble. Don't lose control, Elijah. Hey, isn't that someone from the ki from the kingdom of Darv? You're right. Ho! Oh, he's like, ho ho! What a fun turn of events. Did you want to join your half pig brother on the ground here? Oh, I hate these guys, son. Damn it, I can't win without using mana. Open wide. I'll make sure you guys share a hospital room together so you two can... Another peasant, huh? Buzz off if you don't want to join these two. Yeah, you don't mind play you don't mind playing with you too. Yo, what is wrong with these people, son? Good. Because I'd like to play as well. I could understand not wanting to join mother and father in Ediston for Ediston for the speech. But do we really need to travel with so much discretion? None of the royal soldiers are here. Since the event itself is so tightly secured, I I will I alone will suffice. And our discretion is for the, your majesty's comfort. Princess Kathleen was made has made it very clear that she wishes not to attract any attention. I also made it very clear that I wish not to come. Yet here I am. It's a wonder how you how you survived this long as a part of the royal family, sister. You should be grateful to have me. Otherwise, you just look look yourself in the library all day. You only forced me to came because your lady friend canceled last minute. Regardless, I had to leave behind Grotter even though I plan on riding on top of him during their announcement just so you could agree. Your bond is the size of this carriage and not yet trained, Prince Curtis. That's a safety hazard. Oh, his tiger! Grotter has gotten a lot better, right? Right, Kath? Hey, are you even listening to me? Oh, shit. Aw, oh, damn, here it comes. She gonna start swooning, son. What do I do? What do I do? I've never seen that look on Arthur before. At this rate, those students might actually die. He's not gonna... Get out of here before someone gets seriously hurt! Quickly! They're kid. They're just kids, Arthur. Let's move past this and make sure Elijah's okay. Look at this old man trying to protect the kid. How embarrassing. No, you pompous ingrates. I'm trying to protect you! Uncle Vincent? M I mean, yes? <laughs> Please, Please step, step aside. aside. Sorry, lads, it's too late for you now. Rest in peace. I'll handle this. Be sure not to get your new suit dirty. Easy. Just one hit, Will. Well. <laughs> Look at this little shit getting cocky because he caught someone off guard. I'll show you the difference between a peasant and an actual noble training the way of the sword. Oh god, here we go. Oh, he's he's hitting him with the with the flash step, but Arthur's like, he's like, that's right. Be amazed at the full might of the thousand step strike technique passed down through generations within my family. Not bad being able to keep up with my movements. But the thousand step strike isn't something you can dodge that easily. The descent swing of my weapon is meant to grab your attention. So that'll be pot so that'll be impossible for you to dodge. The ultra fast lunge! He's like, alright, no. First of all, I'm going to kill you now. Damn! It's a shame how fragile things when how fragile things are when you don't strengthen them with mana. M my butt! <laughs> I guess I'll just have to finish this game off with my hands. Cocky little peasant. Remember, Hamiel, a trident's fist is more dangerous than any weapon made by man. With just a single punch, I'll make sure he knows his place in this world. <laughs> How? How does he have such a pressure that even my father doesn't even possess? Whoosh! Oh, God! And he walked back with his hands in his pocket. How dare you belittle the heir of House Trident! Heavenly Piercing Trident! The fuck? Oh, the princess got the smoke too, okay. He was just another boy, like my childish brother and all of his friends. 
At least that's that what I, that was what I thought in the short time was with I was with him. But my gaze seemed to always go back to him. Maybe that's how I found out that he wasn't like the immature boys I had grown to dislike. He was different. What is the meaning of this? P Princess Kathleen, Prince Curtis, y your majesties. My friends and I were simply enjoying our time conversing with the, when that when that barbaric peasant started beating us up for no reason. Yo, why are all these all these people bitch made? Every single one of them. What's what's the popo come in? What's the type of authority come in? It's like, oh, we didn't do anything. What? You are the. We have been wronged. That doesn't explain how the dwarf got so injured. Is that true? Don't just blindly listen to their words, idiot brother. What a joke. Did you just call the Prince of Sappin a joke? How dare you speak so casually to the Prince of Sappin? Don't fuck it. Yo, yo, you see, you see how quick he was? He's like, get your fucking hands off me. My apologies. My speech is to turn crash, crash when I hear bullshit. How is such a small boy so strong? But please excuse my nephew. What he meant to say was that the boys over there are the ones lying. Ah, Mr. Vincent Helstia, what are you doing here? We were on our way to the announcement plot in the plaza when we came across this group of hooligans bullying this poor boy. You dare lie? Now look, now look, look, They now they lied. What is your name? I'm Hamiel, firstborn son of House Trident, your majesty. House Trident? This is getting complicated. There's no mistake that he used potentially lethal magic just now, but the Trident House is a major donor to our family as well as Iris Academy. Who knows how the Trident House will react if something happens to their heir? Hamiel Trident, your use of magic on public ground is, in the end, no one was seriously hurt. He's just like his bitch ass daddy. Like, oh, well, I'm the king, blah, blah, blah. Yo, fuck this kid, son. So if everyone agrees to get past this, then that's right. How much, with how much gold my father pours into this kingdom, not even the royal family can touch me. Uncle Vincent, you have a two-way communication scroll on you, right? I do, but what are you? Cynthia Goodsky. Fool. How dare he call the director of Zyros Academy herself, Vincent? You know I don't appreciate sudden. It's Arthur Lewin. Uh, Arthur, I'm so happy to hear from you. It's been so long. What's with the sudden change in tone? I need to, I need to expel a boy. Wait, 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 hold on. I need you to expel a boy named Tamiel Trident and his group of friends from your academy for racial, for racial bullying and use of lethal magic in the city. Hold on, what's this all of a sudden? What did, what did you say Hamiel? Wait, did you say Hamiel Trident? I don't think it's... That's right. Even if that peasant is a bit closer to our director, there's no way she would side with him considering how much my family was given has given her school. That is, if you still want me to attend your academy. Done. Oh, shit! He pulled the galaxy. Yo, he pulled the JoJo play and got Hamiel and all of his friends expelled. Yo! They're expelled. Yo. So, okay, 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 hold on. Let's... Let's review what just happened here, people. Prince was like, oh, we can handle it. It's gonna be fine. It's fine, you know, as long as everybody gets past it. Arthur was like, gets past it? No, 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 fuck that. Excuse me, excuse me, director. I'm gonna need you to expel some people real quick. His name is Hamiel Trident. Yes, yes, him, him, gone, gone. I need him gone. She's like, oh, are you sure? You want me to, to, to attend your school? Okay, it's done. The clout. Why did I just get a call from Zyra's Academy saying you're expelled? Mom, explain yourself! Allow me to apologize for my behavior earlier. It was unbecoming for a prince to be swayed so easily. Hey, you know what? Kudos to the prince. Kudos to the prince. You took that L and you bounced back elegantly. Good on you. I apologize for earlier as well. My emotions got the better of me. You had every right to be. House Trident or not, I'm glad those students won't be at Zyra's. There's no room for racism in this continent. That's right! What a headache. I vaguely remember feeling this way when we first met, but that Arthur kid is pretty strange. He's a good skit. He's a good, he's a good kid, but still. And you're ignoring me again. Um, would you like to have some tea together some t Oh, shit. She asked him on a date. Oh, Arthur, what you gonna say, son? He's like, uh, yes. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> I'll see you at school. Oh, wow. What was that? Is that really my cold, heartless sister? He really is different. Oh yeah, Tessie is definitely about to pull up for the war, son. Why is your cheek all puffy? <laughs> well, about that. All of these people are about to find out that there's another continent out there. I wonder how they'll react. But what's bothering me is the fact that this continent has been spying on Dickett and using camouflaging mana bees and recording artifacts. They would only do that if they were scared of us or if they had malicious intent intentions. That I do the right thing in expediting, in expediting Dickinson's ability to reach this new continent? Maybe it's for the best. 
If they really are hostile, we can launch a preemptive attack or... Is something wrong, Arthur? You look even more distracted than usual. Of course not. Everything's fine. Well then, I'll just keep pretending you're, th you're thinking normal 12 years old thoughts because that's what your moms do. I just want you to know that while I'll always be worried about you, I'll never stop you from doing what you want. Aw, wish I could promise that she'd never have to worry about me, but I could never lie to her like that. Thanks, Mom. Greetings, humans, elves, and dwarves alike. I am Blaine Glader. While most of you know me as the King of Sapin, today I speak not as a King of Humanity, but as a representative of the continent of Dickathan. I stand with the King and Queens of all three kingdoms from our beloved continent, who have gathered here on this memorable day. Today's, today marks the beginning of, the, of a new era for this continent we call our home. I assume many of you are aware of the animosity that existed between the humans and the elves. While even the doors have been considered just business partners, however, that is not the way we wish to continue. We, your, we, your leaders, have met countless times over these past few years in an effort to unite our races. Two years ago, we agreed to allow members of all three races to become adventurers. It makes me smile to see par parties of humans, elves, and dwarves alike working together towards a common goal. Last year marked another milestone as Iris Academy welcomes students from the Kingdom of Eleanor and the Kingdom of Darv. Now a new generation of mages can make friends and memories without such outdated barriers. We all understand how difficult it may be for some to adjust after the constant enmity, en eh, enmity between, us, between us. However, we urge you to let go of the past and any discrimination you may hold. Think beyond that. And not for, if not for yourself, then for your children and the future of this continent. It is an honor to speak on behalf of those gathered here on this forgettable day. Unforgettable day. I am in, for, I am in firm agreement with the message King Glader has so eloquently delivered regarding the future of our continent. But although we have a clear vision regarding the future, I can wholeheartedly say that this continent is filled with many unknowns. Here in our homeland of Dickathan, there are places so dangerous no one dares to explore. But what if I were to tell you that even greater mysteries and dangers are out there? You have not heard wrong, fellow citizens of Dickathan. Today we formally announce that we have found evidence of another continent. Another continent? What does that mean for us? Aw oh, shit, here we go, the panic. I knew the news might not go over well, but this, this is chaos. Please, we ourselves do not know much yet, so we all have many questions. What we do know is that out, out there is another continent full of mystery, adventure, and possibly danger. There is evidence that we have tried to, that they have tried to reach us as well. But it seems that the current technology on both sides do not permit us to travel that far. Quiet! Oh God, they were, they were out, they were out there like lot, talking mad loud and shit, and the dwarf, the dwarf king was like, yo. Shut the fuck up! As Alduin said, we don't know much. However, in these times of uncertainty, we can we can all agree that standing beside one another is what's best for this continent and for and our people. We must no longer fight amongst ourselves. Our appearances may be different. Our cultures may sometimes clash, but remember this. We are all born on the continent of Dickathan. I, for one, am proud of that. And hope that future generations will feel the same way. What about you? Yeah, yeah, clap. Clap for your boy! The process of bringing our three races and kingdoms together will take time and much effort. But today we will be appointing six individuals. These are individuals who we, the royal families, believe to be the most courageous, tactful, intelligent, and powerful in our respective nations. They will represent each of the three races on the continental scale. This is probably Lucas's half-brother. The primary goal of these six individuals will be to defend and maintain the well-being of Dickathan. They will be working alongside us, the rulers of this continent to ensure that our home is protected as, as we move into the exciting new era for our people. These individuals will henceforth be known as the Six Lances. Oh, it's the Gote 13! Each lance symbolizes the ties we all hold, not only to our own kingdom, but to the entire continent. Oh. Alia Triskin, Bere Are, Alfred Warrend, Aya Greffin, Mika Earthborn, Baron Wikes. Oh, damn, looks like a problem. He looks like a problem, bro. Did he say Wikes? As in Lucas Wikes? To the Six Lances, I say, may you protect and bring us honor. And to all aspiring mages out there, may you strive to be one of the Six Lances in the future. Not even the heavens are the limit. Yo. He's like, that's the guy I gotta worry about, son. The day of the announcement had been a cold reality check for me. Lucas Wikes, was, whose insubordination and betrayal led to the death of most of our party, used his family's power and connections to walk free from his atrocities. I had been warned that seeking revenge against Lucas would be suicide because standing behind him was his older brother who was not only a powerful mage, but now a lance. Damn, son. A little flashy for my taste, but I guess it'll do. While this complicated my plans, I had other more pressing matters to attend to. My sister's birthday. You should stay in the room for the night, so. Vincent warned me that there might be some guests attending Ellie's birthday party as a pretense to watch me. As a pretense to watch me. I don't, I don't want to take any chances, but don't worry. I'll be sure to have someone bring back lots of food. Promise? Promise. Welcome. Please come in. Be sure to ask that boy for a dance later. Mother? Yo. Is this another person added to his harem? Yeah, I'm attending Zyrus Academy soon. Maybe we can grab some lunch to- Ah. Uh... 
Don't act like you didn't see anything. They're coming. Everyone, get ready. I thought we were just having a family party. Why do I need to wear this uncomfortable dress? Slowly. This is why. Happy birthday, Eleanor. Before the next portion of the party begins, I would like to thank everyone here. On behalf of my precious daughter, for becoming, for coming to celebrate her birthday. I've been blessed with so much, so much in this life. I'll look at her friends, but there'd be no greater joy than to have my beloved son and daughter partake in the first dance. Oh, that's nice. She's like, bruh, bro, are you dead ass? I didn't know Ellie and Art were supposed to dance. Did they practice at all? I'll kill him. <laughs> Yo, not at all. Mom, what do we do? I can't dance. Eleanor. Will you honor me with your hand for a dance? Aw, oh, damn, he's like, don't worry, don't worry. I got this, bro, I got this. Brother, but, but I got you, fam. I'm a dancing legend, don't worry about it. I'm mad they're, they're playing, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of music, so. Yeah, see, she didn't know she could do it, but looking at doing it. I thought they didn't practice. They didn't. Oh God, and now every, wow, he lifted her up. Did he use wind magic? Yep, he's using, he's using wind magic. Cause he, he had to finesse. He had to finesse. Of course, of course. I guess those ball ballroom dances in my previous life do have their uses after all. What a disgustingly beautiful performance. Y oh, it's, I thought it was gonna be, uh, what's it called? Lucas, but it's just this dude. Mind if we talk? I was told that you were quite close with Arthur Lewin. Is it all right for us to just leave after dropping off a present for your sister? Arthur's focus should be on his sister today. Besides, I'll see him at school soon. Oh shit. It's Tess! Oh, what's gonna happen when all the girls meet and they see each other and they're like, yo, get the fuck off my man. <laughs> Are you performing in a one-man play or something? I hope you didn't intrude on, on my sister's party to speak with me. Hey, I brought her a gift as well. Fine, to what pleasure do I owe a visit from the number one artificer of Dickathan? Oh, I can actually taste the sarcasm in your words. I just thought you might like to know the council has approved the designs of I've refined from your blueprint and it's undergoing construction right now. The council is what the kings and queens of Dickathan now refer to themselves as, abandoning the monarchy they possess over the king over the three kingdoms. Congratulations, I'm sure you were rewarded handsomely for that. Money, fame, power, it's a means to an end. When I, when I wanted something, even the council can. A excuse me, Master Gideon, I'm a huge fan of your work. Yes, we've heard about the enormous ship you designed. Yes, yes, I'm quite busy at the moment, but don't you dare go anywhere, Arthur, I'll be right back. Looks like the guests are slowly leaving. Arthur, hey, it's Lilia. I'm so sorry I couldn't greet you sooner. I got to the party late and want to congratulate Ellie first. It's okay. Your parents have been bragging to me about how busy you've been as a, as a secretary of the student council. Hey, look at her. Putting that aside though. It's been a while, Lilia. Ah, damn. Y yeah, it's been a while. Ah, shit. She has, she has re-entered the harem. Has he always been this much taller than me? Anyways, about this plant golem. He's in the little girl who used to hide from her parents and eat while eat with the maids and butlers has all has has all grown up now. I showed you my precious hideout and you're still making fun of me for that. It's hard not to point out how after stressing out before your future, you're now doing so well in the most prestigious mage academy in Dickathan. And from the number of boys that have given you soulful stares over the course of the conversation, you must be pretty popular as well. What? That's I don't even have a boyfriend or anything. Besides, everything that's changed in my life is thanks to you. If that's the case. Then I better approve of whichever boy you bring home. I won't be any. I won't be any easier to please than Uncle Vincent. Oh, sh sure. Damn. Damn. Oh shit. He friend zoned her. I mean, understandably so. Understandably so. Good job, Arthur. But he friend zoned her, and she's like, "But I wanted you to be the to be the boy I bring home." Oh, Lilia. Ahem. Sorry, young lady, but do you mind if I borrow this boy? But Master Gideon, of course. I'll see you later then, Art. See, I told you everyone knows me. Humble yourself. You're pretty popular with the ladies, though. That girl just now seemed to have a crush on you. I know. And he said he knows! Oh, God! That's crazy! You two seem to get along. You're not going to do anything about it? She's someone whose life has been changed by me. Her feelings toward me aren't like or love, but something more akin to gratitude. He, he said... I'm gonna hit you with that, with that, with that mature, mature talk. Hold up. He might be giving insight on that Pete that everybody should hear. Hold up. She doesn't know that now, but in the future, I'm sure she'll be able to distinguish that what she's feeling now is an infatuation that a damsel might have toward a hero. Your maturity in these sorts of situations is nauseating. Regardless, I'm sure you're not here to give me love advice. What else did you want to discuss? Yes, as I was about to say earlier, I want to use the money, fame, and power that the council has bestowed upon me to get something I can't get elsewhere, your knowledge. 
I've already had some second thoughts after giving you the blueprints for the steam engine. I don't want to change how the world works any more than I already have. This continent is doing just fine without any, without my intervention. So you do have more ideas for inventions capable of changing the world. His heirs only pick up the things he wants to hear. Mr. Gideon! Let me make it clear that I'm not here to indulge your selfish curiosities. Well, that's over the hell out of me. Got it. That's the case. How about I give? How about a give and take? I'm not asking for world-changing inventions, but maybe just letting me pick your brain from time to time. In return, I'll be your personal benefactor for whatever sort of artifacts or goods you need. How about it? Do we have a deal? Deal. This one is beautiful. Another dress? Oh, this one looks a bit different. Bring it, bring it. Who's it from? I'm not sure there's a letter here though. Whoa, it's a bow. What a beautiful bow. That design looks elven. I wonder who sent it. Could it be? Oh, it's Tessia. Ahem. Present please, dearest brother. You're being impolite, Eleanor. What do you mean? Whoa, what is it? Oh, this is for me? A necklace. These will protect you in case dad or I aren't there. They're gorgeous, where did you get them? Hate to break it to you, honey, but these two pendants are the only ones in existence. Happy birthday, sister. 